Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is David A. Kwa and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my weekly vlog for September 25th, 2016. In this video, I'm gonna tell you guys what's been going on with me for the past week, what I plan to do for the upcoming week. Um, this is the last week of September, so I'm just gonna do some cleanup on my computer, upload these videos. I've been sitting out on my laptop for years. I'm gonna go finally upload them. Some of these videos, I recorded like three years ago, man. I'm, go I'm just gonna... I want to delete it off my computer. I'm going to upload it on, on YouTube, okay? And then once October hits, I have tons of good videos, okay? I've already recorded some of them. I'm, I've been, like, <laughs> anxious to upload them and see what you guys uh, say about it. I got the Halloween movie franchise, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I got every movie that has, like, Exorcism or Exorcist, you know, Emily Rose, The Last Exorcism, The Exorcist movies. I, I, well, not every single Exorcist movie, but, you know, I, I talk about... You know, my favorite exorcism movies, you know, movies that have the demonic possessions and stuff like that. And I got tons of other stuff there. I got, I'm playing Five Nights at Freddy's, you know, I'm recording my gameplay of that and stuff. And, uh, yeah, I got tons of good things for October, but right now, I just, I just gotta get rid of these, some of these, these older videos, okay? So this last week of September, we're gonna see a bunch of random crap. <laughs> and then in October, we're gonna get to the good stuff, alright? Um, this weekend, <clears throat> this upcoming weekend, October 1st, I will be going to Free State Comic Con in Lawrence, Kansas, alright? Admission is only five bucks. So, um, I, I told myself already I wouldn't, I, I'm gonna stop and fade myself out of these Comic Cons and stuff like that. And yet, since I've said that, I've been to like two of them. <laughs> so, I will be going to this. I don't know what I'm gonna dress as. Uh, I went to. Um, uh, I went to a, a Comic Con last week in Topeka, Top Con. I dressed as the Ninja Turtle, and um, and Captain America. So maybe this week I'm gonna dress as something else. Okay, uh, it's just a one day thing, just Saturday, just October first. Okay, and uh, this is where I got the Kristen Stewart posters. I got posters for a bunch of other movies and stuff like that. I'm hoping they have some free stuff this time also. Okay, so looking forward to going to that one. If you're in in the area. I would like to, uh, you know, meet up or whatever. I'm, I'm actually going with one of my classmates, Nathan, okay? Um, movies I've seen this past week, I've seen a couple of them. I saw Zootopia. Uh, Zootopia was actually a really good movie for me. I actually really enjoyed it. I highly recommend it, okay? Um, <clears throat> it's a cop mystery drama movie, okay? A lot of people think, are, like, uh, nervous, you know, they're, uh, they're shy to watch it because they think it's a cutesy kitty movie. I didn't think that at all. It's actually a huge huge Godfather reference in the movie. There's like this, there's one character, if you've seen Zootopia, you know what I'm talking about. There's this one character, he looks and sounds just like Vito Corleone from the Godfather movies. I, I So I really enjoyed it, okay? Um, it's like a dark moments and stuff like that, and they have like, they have a little like message on stereotypes and racism or whatever, you know, in, in the movie also, so. Do check it out if you haven't checked it out already, okay? The other movie I saw was Texas Chainsaw 3D. I, I, I've already recorded my Texas Chainsaw Massacre video, but I haven't seen this movie at the time I recorded it. I, I recorded yesterday, so overnight I was like, you know what, let's just watch this, okay? Oh, it's still in, in the, uh, it's still in my player. I really enjoyed it, okay? It actually took place, they actually recreated, like, the final scene from the first movie. And, made, and put it in this movie, you know, right at the right beginning, and then they continue where it left off. So it actually cuts out, like, the, the the other movies. Like, all the other, it's just the first one, then watch this one. That's pretty much it, you know. They, it, uh, neglect, they, it, um, it, 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 the other movies don't exist, okay? It's just the first one, and then you watch this one. Um, when this movie came out, it was called Texas Chainsaw 3D. I can definitely tell which parts were in 3D. There was a part where, like the chainsaws like going this, like the the uh, the girl was like, inside the box, the coffin or whatever, and the Texas the the, um, the chainsaw was moving right towards the camera. There was one part where where um, Jed like, threw the um, uh, 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 Letterface is his name. Uh, his name is Jed in the movie, but. <clears throat> He threw the chainsaw towards the uh, the camera, you know, and it's like, yeah, I know exactly what parts are in 3D, you know. Like, uh, this would have been a nice movie to watch in 3D in theaters because uh, it's so gimmicky. There's so much parts that are... You know. oh, oh, by the way, the movie's very bright, too. Like, I'm watching it on my TV and, like, the colors are very bright. It's very... It's like, and uh, I thought about it and I was like, you know how the 3D glasses in theaters, they look like sunglasses? Like, there, there's, a, there's a dark tint to them, right? So I, I think that's why. So when when you put on 3D glasses, it looks 
better, you know? It's not so bright. But, uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. Trey Songz is in this movie. I never knew that, okay? Um, but I thought it was really cool. I enjoyed it, you know? Um, I still haven't seen every Texas Chainsaw movie, but uh, I, I may actually marathon through them now, now that I've seen this one. Okay? The other movie I saw, I just saw this last night. <clears throat> DC Superhero Girls, uh, Hero of the Year. This is an original movie starring the DC characters. I saw that family video for four ninety nine. I was like, you know what? Let's just get this. And uh, I popped it in. I watched it, and it, it's better than the Killing Joke. I'll tell you that. I I freaking love this movie. It was hilarious. If you haven't seen this, um, it is kind of meant for girls. You know, it's kind of like meant for little girls. So it's like, all the DC characters that you know of, it's like, they're like teenagers and stuff like that. Oh my god. It's, it's, it's so funny and, uh, and cute too. Because they had Amanda Waller as the principal of their school. And Gorilla Grodd is like the assistant principal. And, um, and uh, Commissioner Gordon is like the Mr. Feeny. Like, Supergirl. Uh, not, not Supergirl. Uh, Batgirl. Um... You know, she's uh, Commissioner Gordon is is her dad. You know, is Barbara Gordon. So um, uh, it's uh, it's her. So so she's like she's like Corey and Mr. Feeney from Boy Meets World. You know, it's like it's kind of like that. And uh, you know, the the boys are in here too. You know, you see like Cyborg, uh, Beast Boy is actually like the class clown. Um, he's kind of like uh, if, he, if I have to compare a, a, a character. Uh, Beast Boy is kind of like Butters in South Park. You know, he's got the kind of like the the dorky kid. You know. Green Lantern, The Flash is also in it, and they're all like teenagers, right? And like Amanda Waller and and all these, uh, they're the uh, the principal and stuff like that. So it's like superhero high or whatever, and and I guess they have a sports team or whatever. I guess there's more because I, I I've heard there's like a, a web series or something like that. There, there's other episodes, but this is like a movie with starring all the characters. And it, ha it involves Supergirl and this little necklace of hers and stuff like that. It's interesting. I like it. There's also a bunch of special features on here, too. I haven't seen these yet, but uh, I'm looking forward to them. Oh, yeah, by the way, when I saw Texas Chainsaw Massacre, uh, Te Texas Chainsaw 3D, um, I watched one of the um, featurettes. Which one was it? It was talking about, like, the history of the franchise and stuff like that. I, I thought it was really cool, all right? It had interviews with people from the first movie, the original movie, way back when, okay? I didn't really play any video games this past week. Here, I'm playing this right now. There's a mobile game that I'm playing on my phone. Let me tell you, uh, what's the name of it? It's called Good Night Story. Where's the main menu? There it is. Good Night Story. It's kind of like a Bejewel slash Candy Crush-ish type game. You know, there's a bunch of, bunch of symbols and you match up three or more, you know, and stuff like that. So here, let me show you my progress. I'm in, oh. Every like six hours or so, yeah, six hours, you get a prize. So look, I'm almost at the top. I need to fight this boss here. I can't seem to do it. Okay, I've already tried like three times to fight this boss at level 124. 125 is the end of the game. But I, I need I have to grind now. <laughs> but look, all those missions. I've done them all, okay? So this is the game I'm, I'm currently playing on my mobile phone. It's fun if you have iPhone or... or I don't even know if they have it available on Android. But uh, the game is called Good Night Story, okay? It has a little night dude. And then he fights different monsters throughout the game. And all you do is just match up like symbols, you know. Okay, this this the uh, it's a fire monster, so you have to use the ice, you line up all the ice, you know, three or more, and then and then uh Yeah. It's just like Candy Crush or you know, Bejewel or something like that, you know. But you match up a certain ones and it gives your your character a specific power, you know. You line up all the shields and he'll block the Um Oh, you may notice that uh, maybe I've worn that to a Comic Con. You know? I have a uh, Doctor Who jacket. All right? I, I showed it on stream. I, I believe if you watch one of my live streams, um, it's either the FIFA one or the um, <clears throat> Resident Evil one. I actually put that on. Okay. Uh, besides that, I haven't really been playing very many video games. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of busy with work and school and stuff like that. Um, this past weekend. I went to eat with my parents at uh, Buffet City here in Wichita, Kansas. I'm only home for the weekend, okay, uh, for work. 
and uh, <clears throat> and uh, food's good there. You know, they have crab legs and crawfish, and they actually have like uh, Mongolian grill and pho and stuff like that. So anyway, I guess that's it. Um, so the videos I'm planning to upload this week, probably this Archie game. I recorded myself playing this Archie mobile game. It's not even on the App Store anymore. I might as well upload that. <clears throat> There's a couple videos of me getting trophies. Oh my gosh, this video right here. Me getting 21,000 gamer score on Xbox Live. I have like 24, like almost 25,000 right now. But I, I recorded a video of me getting 21. So I might as well get that out of the way off my computer. And then once October hits, I have a horror movie haul video, Five Nights at Freddy's, the Halloween series, Texas Chainsaw Massacre series, and the Exorcist series. I'll probably each upload like two of them a week or something. But that's the plan. That is the plan for October. So, I guess the big thing you need to take away is that I will be at Comic Con this weekend. Alright? So, looking forward to... Looking forward to that. Um, let's see. I bought all the Boogeyman movies... So, I'll just do a haul video on that. <clears throat> anyway, that's it. I don't really have much else to talk about. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching, everyone. Rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Talk guys later. Bye.